in the simplification of sats simplification of sats and we said <coughs> okay a number like square root of two this is an example of sats square root of three this one is an example of sats square root of ten it is a square root it, sorry it is a an example of sats so now how do we simplify the sats now we are in the simplification of sats uh, root 2 it is already uh, a simplified root 3 it is already simplified but root 10 it is not yet simplified so here we have uh, we have our radical with a square root sign 10 the factors of 10 we have 2 multiplied by 5 and this one is the same as square root of 2 square root of 5 so uh, square root of 10 is the same as square root of 2 times 5 which is root 2 root 5 in the simplest form okay we have a number like root 8 root 8 is not simplified in this one we can we can have square root of 4 and that is 4 times 2 we get 8 so this one is same as square root of 4 times square root of 2. So we have, we know very well that square root of 4 is 2 and uh, square root of 2 is 2 because we are not supposed to find the actual square root from the calculators. So we have our simplified uh, version of square root of 8 is 2 root 2. That is uh, the final uh, way of writing root 8. So, in simple, in simple, whenever you are told to simplify facts, you make sure that the number and the radical, the number and any, this one is what we call radical. This symbol of square root or root is a prime number. Whenever we are simplifying facts, you are told to, simpli to simplify facts. Any number that is under this radical must be a prime number. Stay tuned as we do more operations on SATs. Thank you.